Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Anthony Crafasi. Thank you for tuning into this video today. And then we're gonna be talking about nutrient deficiency testing and certain health conditions that benefit. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, may please make sure you subscribe. And if you're watching on Facebook or other social media, make sure you like this, share this information. We're gonna be going over some great information here today. So if it's valuable to you, it's benefited you, please make sure you share it with others. So nutrient deficiency testing is very important to do for nearly all health conditions. We're just gonna be going over a small percentage of those today. Now we run nutrient deficiency testing on nearly all of our patients because it really truly affects all body systems. You know, it's it's very um, well known that literally every part of the body, we our bodies, we rely on nutrients, vitamins, minerals, other nutrients, you know? And your vitamins and minerals actually act as catalysts in your body for chemical reactions to occur. And so if you don't have specific vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in your body for these uh, reactions to occur, well, you can get things like fatigue and brain fog and inability to think and poor sleep and skin issues and all these other health conditions. So that's why nutrient deficiency testing is crucially important to be done if you're suffering from a health condition. So some of the health conditions that benefit from nutrient testing are things like autoimmune conditions. And why is this? Well, number one is that there's over 50 million Americans suffering from an autoimmune condition, over 100 known autoimmune conditions. Now, when we have an autoimmune condition, essentially our bodies start de de destroying and attacking tissue. Now, depending on what tissue attacks, well, you often need more of that nutrient because now you're destroying the tissue and you need that nutrient to survive. Now, it's, it's important to understand this that we have different concentrations of vitamins, minerals, other nutrients in different parts of our body. For example, vitamin C is highly concentrated in your adrenal glands. Now your adrenal glands are what produce cortisol. And so if you're constantly under a lot of stress, something like vitamin C is often depleted, right? Another example is your brain. Now your brain is mostly made up of fat, and so it uses a lot of what's known as DHA. So this is a fatty acid that you would need. Now it's shown that, you know, if you're having poor cognitive function by supplementing with fatty acids, this improves your cognitive function. So, and we could go on, there's many different body tissues and all different organs that work like this. So we have storage sites in the body for certain um, tissues, but in addition, just for your body to regulate its metabolic processes, every single cell has what's known as mitochondria in it. And in these mitochondria, they have, the, they have essentially this this um, big factory and there's assembly line in your mitochondria and the, each each person in your mitochondria represents a nutrient and if someone doesn't show up to work that day to the factory well that that um, cell that power plant that factory is going to suffer because they don't have a, as much manpower to work the factory and to help produce energy so very important nutrients extremely important so this is why we do nutrient deficiency testing on nearly all of our patients. So autoimmunity is one of the major ones that can benefit from nutrient deficiency testing. What's another? Well, something like gut issues. So gut problems, right? Things like irritable bowel syndrome, right? So IBS, okay? So whether you're getting constipation, diarrhea, or both, maybe gas, bloating, whatever it might be. So IBS. Another one is inflammatory bowel disease, right? So that's IBD. And now IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, is actually made up of Crohn's disease and also ulcerative colitis, okay? So that's another one. Another one is celiac disease, okay? Now this is truly really an autoimmune condition, but this causes uh, some issues as well in the gut. And then finally, we can talk about a leaky gut syndrome, okay? So what is the issue with all of these and how do this, does this benefit from nutrient deficiency testing? Well, this benefits from nutrient deficiency testing because what are all these things? These are essentially malabsorption syndromes that can occur, right? And so we all know if we eat food, we eat food through our mouths, it goes down our gastrointestinal tract and we break it down. And throughout that food, we break down and we get our macromolecules, so we get proteins out of that, we get fat, we get carbohydrates, and we use these different macromolecules for different things in the body, but in addition, we get also get micronutrients, so we get deficiencies, right? I mean, we get nutrients from these. And so if we are not breaking these things down, if we're not absorbing these things, whether it's through IBS, IBD, maybe there's even a, a gut infection, 
and the gut infection, you know, if it's a parasite or something, then it's it's utilizing all of your nutrients. This can cause nutrient deficiencies. All right, so very important to understand that nutrient deficiency testing, it's not something that should be reserved for, um, you know, uh, occasionally. It should, it's a very great tool that helps us analyze really specifically what's going on. You know, the, the most expensive nutrient and vitamin you're on is the one that you really don't need. And there's so many people who are taking supplements, nutrients, and vitamins, and they, and they might not even need it. However, they might need something that they could actually use, especially if they're suffering from a health condition. So this, these are just a couple, you know, a couple other ones that could really benefit, I mean, are things like thyroid conditions, obesity um, or, or overweight, weight loss issues, things like diabetes. There are so many different health conditions that benefit from nutrient deficiency testing because you really need to understand that these nutrients are required for literally every metabolic process on the planet. And so if, if we have a toxin overload because of our immune system, because we're bombarded with so many chemicals in our food and our water and our air today, you know, this causes a burden on the liver. And, and again, your liver has high storage sites for specific nutrients and vitamins, things like specific B vitamins, vitamin C, you know, amino acids, and all of these things come from our diet. And so if we are not getting them, if, if they're, you know, being reduced because of these health conditions, this can be uh, causing us to feel sick and, and unwell. So this is the major reason why, um, and these are some major health conditions that can benefit from nutrient deficiency testing. So if you are suffering from a health condition or you know someone is, please make sure you share this information, um, like it, and, and let them know that there's things that can be done and that they can benefit from this type of care. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comment section below. And again, I'm Dr. Anthony Crafasi and have a great day.